I had been arrested for cannabis uh, right after my birthday and spent the night in jail in a jail in New Jersey for 0.5 grams of really a stem in a bag. No way. <laughs> And it was a really important experience for me because I felt so much injustice in it. Uh, and also I had parents who paid for a fancy lawyer. And when I went to the courtroom, I was framed as this person who, you know, white privileged young person who was about to go to college and had a whole future and just made a mistake. And meanwhile, there were other people in the courtroom who looked very different than I did and who were getting jail time, probation, you know, all of these things. Meanwhile, my record got expunged, right? And so I got really curious about that. It led to me doing mm. a semester long project on private prisons when I was in college at Boston University. And that research project opened my eyes to the fundamentally racist war on drugs um, and the history of that. And so mm -hmm. I've, I've come at this from that perspective since the very beginning, and I've been very motivated to end the war on drugs and to create rational data-driven drug policies um, that reflect the truth, right? That reflect, um, yeah, so integrating uh, responsible use of drugs and other psychedelics and decriminalizing all drugs and regulating them according to their potential harms and benefits is is the foundation of my belief and my work.